Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners of classes 6, 7, 8. This is the series on grammar in context, time and tense. So, we have then 7 parts in which we have discussed present tense and past tense and in future tense we have seen simple future and future continuous. Today we will discuss in the part 8th of this series future perfect and future perfect continuous. Learners with you is Yukta and me, we will together do future perfect tense and future perfect continuous, there are two aspects. So, let us begin by doing a task. Yukta and learners, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, first of all, how are you? How do you feel? I am good, thank you. Uh, so, we also feel that uh, learners are fine in good spirits. Uh, just tell me about your feeling on learning grammar. I think it is very interesting. I oh. really find it very interesting. Good, good, good. So, uh, I, I'm very few, very few learners, students say uh, grammar is interesting. Generally, grammar is one aspect uh, which gen generally learners feel, students feel uh, boring. So, I'm happy that uh, like you, the learners also feel. Okay. We say, we are here sitting. What did you do yesterday morning? If suppose if I ask you? I had breakfast yesterday. Okay. You say in, I had my breakfast in the morning. So, that is had, past yes. tense. So, what do you do now? What are you doing now? Suppose if I ask, you are talking to me. Yes, I am talking you're, to you. You are fine. So, we have to speak to the context of time. So, learners, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Let us first look at future perfect. Come on, I am going to give you a task. Learners, you also do it. This is general time context, it may be in present tense, past tense, but single sentences. Okay. Come on, let me read out the sentences for you. I get up or I got up at 6.30 a.m. in the morning every day. Correct version will be, I get up at 6.30 a.m. in the morning every day. Okay. Learners, this is present tense because you are doing it every day. Every day. Fine. I played or I play for the team last year, this year I am not playing. So, the correct version will be, I played for the team last year, this year I am not playing. Fine. The third sentence, Yukta and learners, Tarun has left or is leaving for the city just now. So, the correct sentence will be, Tarun has left for the city just now. Fine. Good, good. Well, well. They have been playing or they have played hockey since morning. The correct sentence is, they have been playing hockey since morning. Good, good, good. Well then, the school will reopen in July or the school is reopened in July. The school will reopen in July. Okay, learners, some of them in past tense, some of them present perfect continuous some in future, the school will reopen, the future action. So, learners, though we have been learning time and tense is separately, when you speak Yukta and write, use language, we are may, all will be integrated. Yes. So, that we have to keep it in mind, that was the first activity is or was. Now, we are going to learn future perfect tense. I am going to ask you to read, there are some five sentences. Learners, as it appears on your screen, as Yukta uh, reads, look at the words in bold, highlighted, underlined, then just notice it. Come on, read. Narji will have written her examinations by the time next year. Fine. Next. Kovin shall have left before you go to see him. Fine. My teacher will have completed the third lesson by then. Fine. India will have become a super power by 2030. Hmm. By the end of this year, the school will have finished its silver jubilee year. Fine. Learners, what do you notice in those highlighted underlined sentences? So, 
let me read out to you again, it appears again. Noji will have written her examinations by the time next year. Kovind shall have left before you go to see him. My teacher will have completed the third lesson by then. India will have become a superpower by 2030. By the end of this year, the school will have finished its silver jubilee year. Learners and Yukta, tell me when are these action, actions happening? I will have written when? In the future. In the future, but the, the action would have got over by a particular point of time. Yes. Okay. Learners, I will have written, the school would have celebrated, he could have reached, so he shall have forwarded, he shall have uh, completed the work by evening, he will have reached the place tomorrow evening. So, the particular point that he must have completed the work. So, we use future perfect for an action which would have got over sometime in future. Okay. So, that is what now learners we have got some idea of future perfect tense. Now, let us before we move on to do more activities of future perfect tense Ikta and learners, let me ask you to read the objectives of this lesson. Learners, here are the objectives of this lesson. Come on, let us learn. Okay. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to understand time and tense, use future perfect and future perfect continuous in context, discover the forms future perfect and future perfect continuous forms and use them in speech and writing appropriately. Fine learners, Ikta has read out the Objectives of the lesson, we are going to learn future perfect and future perfect continuous. So, we have been introduced to some sentences in future perfect continuous. Then, you thought, now let me read out some sentences and which appears on the screen learners, let us look at it. I shall have written the test by this time tomorrow. Then, Ravi will have passed out class 8th this time next year. India shall have achieved the target in the next month. I shall have done the task at this time next week. I shall have met him when I go to the town. Come on, learners, let us see the sentences again. Yukta is here to read. Come on, read the sentences. I shall have written the test by this time tomorrow. Ravi will have passed out class 8th this time next year. India shall have achieved the target in the next month. They shall have done the task at this time next week. I shall have met him when I go to the town. Fine. Thank you, Yukta. Learners, the sentences are appearing again. Please notice the underlined bold sentences shall have, will have written, finish the work. So, this is the form of future perfect. An action which would have got over, which will get over at a particular, finished at a particular point of time. Then you refer to it. I shall have passed class 8 by this time next year. So, it, the action has got over, fine. Now, here are some tasks for you, Yukta and the learners. I am going to read out. Yukta will supply for you learners. You also try from home or your school. Here are the sentences. Sandhya is working hard. She will have passed or she will be passing the grade by the end of the year. Now, I am putting a question in order to answer that. When will Sandhya pass the grade? Okay. Hmm. Sandhya on. is working hard. She will have passed the grade by the end of the year. Very good. So, when will she pass the exam? By the end of, end the, of year. the year. So, it would have got over. Okay. Ravi will have reached or will be reaching the destination by 10 PM. Ravi will be reaching the destination by 10 PM. Okay. I am going to stop you there. By 10 PM, the action would have got over. Then what will you say? Come on, look at the sentence. Both are right. Okay. So, we want to future perfect continuous. We can okay. say, but by the time the action has got over. Come on, say it again. Ravi will be reaching the destination by 10 oh, no, I'm trying. I am trying to uh, drive home some other point. By 10 p.m., he has finished the action. 
So, what will you use? Come on. Yeah. Ravi will have reached the destination by 10 pm. Okay. An action which has got over. Then they shall have moved or shall be moving out of the house by then. They shall have moved out of the house by then. Great. Then the team shall have practiced for 100 hours before entering the field. The team shall have practiced for 100 hours by before entering the field. Fine. India shall have sent or shall be sending unmanned mission to Mars by 2025. India shall have sent unmanned mission to Mars by 2025. The boys will have got or will be getting their reward when the headmaster reaches the school next week. The boys will have got their reward when the headmaster reaches the school next week. Fine. My school will have finished or shall be finishing its 30th year by 2024. My school will have finished its 30th year by 2024. Very good. Learners, the sentences are appearing on your screen with the right options which Yukta has given and you also have given. Come on, uh, take a minute to look at them, how future perfect continuous works in context. All right, learners. Now, time has come. We have done lot of uh, sentences. Yes. It, this is we called working with language. We have worked with language. Mm -hmm. It is like you know, some mechanic works with machines, automation and uh, someone when we drive engine, uh, we are working with it. Language learning takes place learners by working with it. So, most of the time children learn on mobile, you do not have to teach them, they work with it. So, learners when you start working with the language, like an instrument you learn the language. So, in order to discover the rules, the form, how the form future perfect is used, come on let us look at rules when and how future perfect appears in context. Come on, I am going to request you to read out. Okay. Future perfect tense is used to refer to an action which will be completed by a certain point of time in the future. Fine. When will be the action completed? By a certain point, point of, of time, time in future. Come on, let us demonstrate it learners. This is future tense. We know simple future that is happening at a particular point of time future continuous continuing then now future perfect at a particular point of time in future it will be complete complete. completed it is complete it is complete and it is completed. So, this is future perfect come on let us look at the sentences now the company shall have made 200 percent profit when it reaches its 50th year the team will have won all the matches when it reaches the final tournament. Look at sell have made by the time the company reaches the 15th year, it would have made 200 percent profit. It's talking about the time uh, in, in the future when it will be completed. Very good. Okay. So, the, the team will have won all the matches when it reaches the final tournament. It is quite natural. Yes. So, when that particular moment is now, let us do some more tasks for you. You need to use future perfect learners. Yukta is doing here for you and you do it there. I am going to read the complete sentence. You also will be reading the complete sentence by giving an uh, appropriate future perfect form. Okay. okay. Our country will have made or will be making a mark in the field of science and technology by the time we enter the next decade. Mm -hmm. Come on, say it. Our country will have made a mark in the field of science and technology by the time we enter the next decade. Great. She will have worked or will be working on the project by then. She will have worked on the project by then. Great. Then Kavin shall have written or shall be writing his first book by the end of the next year. Kavin shall have written his first book by the end of the next year. The learners and Yukta. You may wonder sometimes I use will, sometimes shall. Learners, these modal verbs will, shall, should, may, might, quite a lot of category of verbs, sometimes have to also. We will have a separate series on that, but shall has 
for just information, he shall, when you say that he shall have written his first book, it is not he is saying, I am putting a compulsion or I am expressing my belief or my understanding. So, suppose you shall have completed this talk ad. So, I am putting a kind of compulsion. So, will shall, let us not bother much about it. The idea is shall have plus third form of the verb or will have or the third form of the verb. So, that appears in future perfect. Okay. The group of mountaineers will have scaled or will be scaling Mount Everest by the end of this summer. So, the correct sentence is the group of mountaineers will have scaled Mount Everest by the end of this summer. Great. It will have rained or it will be raining in the midnight as per the prediction. It will have rained in the midnight as per the prediction. Because you are pointing to a particular point midnight. Yes. So, the rain would have got over by the time, fine. Learners, do not get confused, will, will be raining also can be used, but in order to drive home the point, draw your attention to us how future perfect can be used or is used, we are using some typical examples. Okay. The members shall have voted or will be voting Arvind as the president of the party by the time the party wins the election. The members shall have voted Arvind as the president of the party by the time the party wins the election. Good. You have done it. Learn, we believe that learners have also done it. Let us do another task, but in an integrated manner. That means, all verb forms, all tenses would be there. We are going to use it. Karan studied in a village school. He has been doing well since his school days. He will have completed or will be completing his bachelor's degree by the end of the next year. He shall have left or has been leaving for the city to do his masters. His parents had been working or are working very hard during his school days to send him to the university. He will have got or he will be getting a job by the time he is 28. Come on. Challenge thrown at you, <laughs> learners and Yukta. Come on. Current okay. studied in a village school. He has been doing well since his school days. He will have completed his bachelor's degree by the end of next year. He shall have left for the city to do his masters. His parents had been working very hard during his school days to send him to the university. He will have got a job by the time he was 28. By the time he is 28. Fine. Very good. Well then, so we have seen had been working, will have completed, will have got the job. So, future perfect, past perfect continuous, many tenses of present perfect continuous. He has been doing well since his school days. It started in the past and continuing. Learners, we have seen when and how future perfect is used. So, let in order to drive home the point, how future perfect tense, the use of future perfect tense is distinct, different from past perfect and present perfect. So, here are some rules for you. Come on, let us understand with examples. Yukta is reading out for you. Come on. So, so, present perfect is used to refer to an action which is completed in the recent past and its effect is still there. Okay, that is present perfect. Yes. Then, past perfect. Past perfect is used to refer to an action before an action in the past. Okay. There are two actions in the past. Uh, we have seen learners lot of examples. When I reached the station, the train had already left. The train left before I reached. So, past perfect. Come on now, read out, uh, tell the learners future perfect when it is used. So, the future perfect is used to refer to an action which will be completed by a certain point of time in future. Very good. Well then, So, learners, here are the examples for present perfect, past perfect and future perfect. Come on, read out. He has just left for the city, present perfect. He had finished his work when we reached the spot, past perfect. Past perfect, two actions, 
an action before an action mm -hmm. in the past, now future perfect. He will have moved to the new job by next year, future perfect. Okay, by the time next year, he would have, he will have moved, completed. So, learners, present perfect, past perfect and future perfect, we have learnt. So, learners, in future perfect, last set of exercises for you, five sentences, ready? Yeah. Fine, all right. The driver will have reached the city or will be reaching the city by 11 p.m. The driver will have reached the city by 11 p.m. Okay. The soldiers will have won, will be winning the war by the time the air forces reach them. Come on. The soldiers will have won the war by the time the air forces reach them. Fine. We will have noticed or will be noticing the problem, if any, in the final hour. We will have noticed the problem, if any, in the final hour. Fine. The train will have moved or will be moving out of the station when the other express enters. The train will have moved out of the station when the other express enters. Okay. My father will have felt or will be feeling elevated when I became the captain. My father will have felt elevated when I became the captain. My mother will have laughed or will be laughing at me when I became a serious adult for she knows me a jovial person. My mother will have laughed at me when I become a serious adult for she knows me a jovial person. Fine learners, we have done future perfect, we got introduced, we started noticing it. Then we did a lot of tasks, then we discovered the rules. So, future perfect tense is used for an action which will be completed at a certain point of time in future. Fine, okay. that is good. We are now moving on to future perfect continuous. Yukta and the learners, if I say a statement, I have been talking to you for last two hours, for the first two hours. What, what does it mean? I started? Talking to you in the past. I do not know. I started in the past yes. and still talking to you. Yes. So, this is present perfect continuous. Okay. He, you have been conversing with me since, let us say, two hours ago, for the past two hours or for the last 30 minutes. You started two hours ago and still start. This is present perfect continuous, an action which began in the past still, still continues. Still continue. The same thing future perfect continuous. In future an action starts, but it was continuing, you are referring to a point that still the action will be continuing. Okay. So, fine. Come on, it is better to move from getting engaged working with language. Here are some sentences for you. So, learners, we have seen future perfect uh, tense. Now, let us move on to future perfect continuous. So, let us see some sentences. Okay. Yukta is going to read out some five, six sentences for you, then we will notice. Yeah. Hmm. Ekta will have been studying in the second semester of the graduation. Roman will have been traveling from Delhi to Mumbai the day after tomorrow evening. Abla shall have been reading the book to take up the test in the evening of the forthcoming Wednesday. By the end of the week, Shrill will have been making good images for the drawing competition. He will have been writing the documents for settlement in the next week. She will have been reaching the final leg of her work by next weekend. Fine. A question to you and the learners. When does the action begin in these sentences? It begins in the, in the past. No, shall, I shall have been doing, yes. I will have been doing. In future it begins some point okay. of time, but you are referring to your time, it will be, it is still continuing. Meaning, come on, let us read out any one of the sentences. Ekta will have been studying in the second semester of the graduation. So, in the next year, in the in future. So, she was, she would be in the middle continuing. So, that is what future perfect continuous is used. Come on learners, here is a table for you. I am going to ask Ekta to read again 
future perfect and future perfect continuous. We have seen future perfect is an action completed at some certain point of time in future. Future perfect continuous is still yes, continuing. Continue. Come on, Yukta is reading. Future perfect. She will have completed the work by evening. Future perfect continuous. She will have been doing her work for 4 hours by 10 p.m. Future perfect. Jatendra shall have met his friends in party next Friday. Future perfect continuous. Jatendra shall have been meeting his friends in the party for 3 hours next Friday. Future perfect. India shall have made a mark in the agricultural production market by the end of this decade. Future perfect continuous. India shall have been making a mark in the agricultural production market for two years by the end of this decade. Fine. So, he will have reached the place by the time the train leaves. He will have been studying at the university after two years. It will start in the future and it will be continuing. Yes, yes learners, that is what here it is demonstrated in the table also for you. Then let us do some more activities before we close and learn the discover the rules of future perfect continuous again. So, I am going to read out to you Yukta, you are going to give the correct form of the verb future perfect or future perfect continuous. Okay. The driver will have been driving or will be driving for 6 hours in the evening today. So, the driver will have been driving for 6 hours in the evening today. The captain will have been ordering his battalion for 7 months by the time he gets promoted. The captain will have been ordering his battalion for 7 months by the time he gets promoted. We shall have been noticing or we had noticed a good development in industrial sector for 5 years in the next decade. We shall have been noticing a good development in industrial sector for 5 years in the next decade. Okay. Fourth sentence, the train will have been running or will have run for 3 decades as an express in the next decade. So, the train will have been running for 3 decades as an express in the next decade. My father will have been working or will be working as the chief of the company for 8 years by 2030. My father will have been working as the chief of the company for 8 years by 2030. Okay, learners, we have learnt how future perfect continuous is used. An action which begins in the future and shall be continuing, the speaker refers to a particular point of time, that is future continuous tense. We need not worry much learners, when you use them in context, you will understand very well. Come on. Okay. Let us look at the sentences below. Yukta is going to read out the sentences as final example for future perfect continuous. The first sentence is, the company shall have been making 200 percent profit for 3 years when it reaches its 15 year. The second sentence, the team will have been winning all the matches when it reaches the final tournament. Fine. Now, let us do final set of future perfect and future perfect continuous sentence. Only four or five sentences learners for you. Come on, let us notice it. By the year 2050, artificial intelligence will have taken or will be taking over many of our jobs. Okay. Mm. By the year 2050, artificial intelligence will be taking over many of the jobs. Okay. It will be continuing. Fine. Yes. Well, well done. The bus will be arriving or will have arrived before we reach the bus stand. The bus will be arriving before we reach the bus stand. No, okay. let us say that. That is also fine, not a very this one wrong, but before you reach the train, the bus would have reached. Okay. So, come on, say it again. The bus will have arrived before we reach the bus stand. Okay, it would have, the action would have got over. Fine. Already arrived. Uh, yes. Uh. Okay. The government will have enforced 
or will have been enforcing for three years by the end of next year. The government will have been enforcing for three years by the end of next year. Okay, it would be in continuation. Yes. The teacher will have been giving or the teacher will have given the model questions for an hour by tomorrow afternoon. So, the teacher will have given the model questions for an hour by tomorrow afternoon. Ah, there is a problem here. Okay. So, it, the action is not over yet. So, the teacher will be giving or will have given, he will begin an hour before and continuing. So, what will you say? Come on, go ahead. Mm -mm. The teacher will have been giving the model questions for an hour by tomorrow afternoon. Fine. Thank you, Yukta and learners. So, let us also learn the learning outcomes of this lesson. We began with learning objectives, then now this learning outcome is what I have learnt in measurable terms. Learner uses time and tense and other grammatical aspects like adjective, noun, pronoun, verb forms, real life context or in context appropriately in writing and speaking. This is the learning outcome learners, you can see it. The learning outcomes are more important for teachers and parents to know how far the child has learnt. Learners, we have learnt today in this lesson, part 8 of time and tense grammar in context, future perfect and future perfect tense. Yukta, let me thank you along with the learners for your participation and cooperation. Learners, when now you read newspaper every day or read something, also try to notice the tense forms there. Then you try to use, there is not much difference between will be doing, will, will have been doing. So, you have to notice the slight distinction, because in Indian languages we do not have much distinctions between future perfect and future perfect continuous, you have to know that. So, do not translate one to one. So, these are distinct features, we should know when we write and when you become good writer, academic or creative writer or defining some moments in engineering technology, these are all important, because they say no, the spacecraft would have reached this light year by this time, if it travels with this speed, it would have been reaching, still continuing. So, this is future predictions, fine. So, thank you Yukta thank and you thank so you learners, we will meet in the last part of the time and tense in the next part. Thank you very much. Thank you.